looking at me amazement is so stunning. Hello and welcome back to the channel. We had no plans at all today of what to do and we've just really by chance ended up in La Oratava which is one of the wealthiest towns of Tenerife and after the Spanish conquest here, here is where all of the wealthy Spaniards would come and settle. So you'll see a lot of old impressive manor houses, a lot of big old properties with lovely balconies and I think the absolute centre of La Oratava has been declared an area of historic artistic interest because of the amount of beautiful buildings. So we will have a look around but first of all we've been riding for an hour. I am so hungry. The restaurant closes in one hour so we're going to bomb off there, grab a bite to eat and then look around. And just look at where we are right now on the main road but beautiful trees leading all the way up to the mountains over there and that mountain here Monica. <laughs> I think we've got a little hint of what some of the buildings may be like. Look at this old thing beautiful with I've already decided where we want to go for lunch but there's a really nice looking restaurant over there I just saw a really nice looking restaurant over there as well we could be spoiled for choice but we'll stick with the original plan let's get kitted up and start gorging <laughs> Verde and if you're into your your health food things like that this is a brilliant place in La Rotava we've been twice before they sell a whole load of food here and their menu is brilliant you may notice I've kept my jacket on and for once I genuinely actually need a warm drink because it's fairly cold here and it's spitting with rain and I didn't bring waterproofs <laughs> Monica do you did you bring your, your waterproofs? No. Of course not. We are one hour, 20 minutes away from home. It's cold. It looks like it's about to start pouring with rain. And mm. we have the sanctuary of this little restaurant. So we'll stay here as long as possible. <laughs> we'll make everything last as long as possible. So we've got some green tea, some burgers coming. But if you're in Lara or Otava, this is a great place. And I hope the weather holds out so we can actually show some of it. Monica forgot her mask, so I had to go into a supermarket. I had a mask on, walked into the supermarket with my mask on, and I was kicked out because they are so strict here with all things COVID. I actually had to leave the supermarket, go back to the entrance. I was sent out by the sweet lady, cashier who worked there, sent out in front of everyone, and she was pointing, she said, mashing, I'm mashing. I didn't know what she meant. I was, I was, I was looking like, am I allowed in? Am I, am I barred? And then I realized she was pointing to the sanitizing gel. So I had to, in front of everyone, put my hands under <laughs> like that and then I could go in so basically yeah I was kicked out and it took me about two minutes to realize but there is one good thing that's going on at the moment in Spain 
and some of you Brits may get a bit annoyed with this. In Spain at the moment, from the 1st of April until at least the 30th of June, Spain are giving a 20p, 20 cents per litre reduction on fuel. I couldn't believe it. We went in for fuel about two weeks ago and there was a, a significant discount, discount on our fuel price. And I thought I'd save it today to give you an idea. I filled up the Triumph Bonneville with fuel. It was 14 euros 95. 14.95 with the reduction 11.58 that's a significant reduction so for 11 euros 58 i filled the bonneville tank completely empty to completely full great things the spanish government are doing i think that's hugely impressive <laughs> monica's now asked three times for me to turn these nice lights on i'm gonna get told off <laughs> Oh, beautiful. <laughs> so embarrassing. Cozy. It's lovely. <laughs> They're staring at me, aren't they? <laughs> Just since being in here, Monica has asked me to close the window behind me, completely rearrange <laughs> All of the furniture here, move different chairs around, and I've been asked to plug this in as well. I don't know if I have to rearrange some of the bottles behind me in a second as well. This is stunning. This is a brilliant view down to the old part of the town and you've got so many traditional Tenerife and buildings there. I love these so much when you have the green doors, white building with the terracotta tiles on the roof, wooden balconies and a huge amount of domes just scattered around on the building tops there. I haven't seen that anywhere else in Tenerife but the architecture. And there on the terrace, you can see the wooden table and chairs with, I think, a man just sitting there at the table with that view. And of course, it is oh, cloudy today. Hold your hand no way. <laughs> Apologies, Monica. With my left hand bending around and that view of the ocean right in front of me as well. And on about 20 meters in La Otava without getting a bit of information. For example, there are plaques on most of the old buildings. That was 1657, the House of Balconies. That was 1642. That one has a stunning courtyard in it. And this, this is local artwork. So there are a lot of things that they used as produce around here. They have wineries, vineyards around here, leather goods, they've got a lot of pottery and things like that, ceramics, and all of these paintings in here are from areas in Tenerife that we recognize. And Monica, look down there. You can even see the artist's setup. That one in the middle is 
the thou supposedly thousand year old dragon tree. The one to the left of it is near the top of El Tede, the volcano. And right behind it is Monica's favorite at the back of the wall there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And look, I didn't even see this Monica to your left. I guess this is the one the painter's actually in the process of doing right now. Well, this, Casa Ponte Fonte, which means house, bridge, fountain, I think. Almost every old house here, this is a sign of how wealthy it was, has just been built with almost, almost limitless money from a few, few hundred years ago, maybe 400 years ago, and look at this, it's no different. They've all got this amazing entrance hall, whether it's the art gallery back there or this one, and then it opens up into a stunning courtyard area with loads of plants. Look at the ceilings as well, the dark wood there, chandelier in the middle. And this, this is actually a restaurant here. So if you're looking for somewhere to come, Casa Ponte Fonte, with a view of the sea. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't that dragon tree there, a view of the sea and a huge palm tree there. And look at this building here. Mm -hmm. Hola. Hola. And a few old, this is rare to see, actually, in Tenerife. Some of these old night outfits with mm -hmm. the armor. Very, very rare to see that type of outfit here in Tenerife. Oh, and shops upstairs. Oh, wow. I don't think they've got rid of the Christmas decorations yet. It just gets better and better. Down every little side alley or through every little door, there's another treat. Look at this place. This is a little shop. I think it's a coffee shop that sells goffios. I think they're pastries with a courtyard down here and a view of the sea over there. It's a visual feast, I don't know where to look. <sighs> look down here at all this traditional old architecture. It looks like a painting. It does, doesn't it? It could be a painting. <sighs> and this building here with the white and black contrasting with the yellow here, stunning. This is absolutely stunning. Must be a 1990s Honda Hornet, something like that. I love these old bikes. What about the church? Oh yeah, the church. Beautiful, look at it. It's about 240 years old. <laughs> Glorious thing. La Oratava is one of the best preserved Spanish colonial town examples on Tenerife. You know, the only reason I think maybe La Laguna and Pace is a bit more popular, for one, they're slightly bigger, but secondly, They've pedestrianized large areas of the town and it makes it much, much more pleasant for walking. So while this is stunning and one of the picks in Tenerife, I really think they, it may benefit from pedestrianizing it, just it makes it more pleasant walking around.
Tabatonka in Lauatava. All of the details I'll put in the written description. It's unbelievable. So you walk through, you've got all of the, the counter with the delicious looking cakes and coffees behind Monica that she's just showing. And then it opens up into this mind blowingly incredible courtyard, balconies all the way around. So Spanish colonial feeling. It is stunning, a tree in the middle. You know, the last time I went somewhere so stunning, Monica and I were having a mojito and a cigar in Habana in mm. Cuba. I remember that so well, and this just gives me that exact feeling. It is breathtakingly stunning. Uh, this is a must. I mean, our Oratava is a must, but to come here itself as well, oh, it's a must. been standing like this. I can't believe it. I've still got my cake there. I haven't eaten it. I've been standing like <laughs> this, looking up in amazement. It's so stunning. We think, just before we tuck into these, this is the entrance door here. Go up the stairs for all of these apartments wrapping round. So we think to the very best of our knowledge, people actually live in these apartments going round here. And the front door is separate. Front door there. And the front door for the cafe is actually next door. It's proper gourmet style cakes here so monica that's i think did you get biscuits with chocolate caramel biscuit with caramel and chocolate and this i don't think my spanish is good enough to understand it <laughs> oh. <laughs> this taste is as good as the view A perfect spot to wrap up the video right between a Mark One Golf and hoped it was a Lambretta. I think it's an imitation Lambretta, but I love, I love seeing those Mark One Golfs still on the roads, just down a side street as a proper, a proper mode of transport. Still, it's amazing. Thank you everyone for getting involved in the poll on the Aprilia Tuono because it was, I think, by the end. 86% of people actually want it on the channel. It will be the video straight after this Oratava video on Sunday. And if you're in Tenerife, actually, speaking of Oratava, we highly recommend it. It's a stunning place. And that coffee shop we went to, one of the most characterful, most beautiful coffee spots I've ever been to. So highly recommended. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming along. And we'll see you in the next one.